Let's see, what do we have here? A cave with a sign. It says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. Let us save. Although this is also one of those adventure games where you cannot die. But still, it's good to save once in a while. My god, it's a real dragon. Well, what do you expect in a dragon skive? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently I'm not fully in control of my breath. <laughs> well. Ouch. <laughs> no worries, Simon. You're not dead. Just shake it off. Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. That wouldn't be healthy. Asbestos is not healthy for you. Especially as an underwear. Why? That's an interesting rock. Yeah, it's definitely a face. Like we haven't seen any faces on rocks before. I guess there's nothing to look at. There should be. Oh. Apparently not. Let's just continue up the uh, path. Up the path. Da -da -da -da. They're used to as footholds for climbing across the rock face. Now one of them is missing. There's a pin missing. Do we have anything to use as a pen? Maybe we can use the placard? That doesn't work. There's a pin missing here. Okay, we don't have a pin for it. Darn it. It looks stable enough. There we go. Alright, there's somebody stuck in the uh, snow. Or somebody frozen in the snow, more likely. I think this was the way I needed to go anyway. That is an old looking tree. Who are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. How come a tree has speech apparatus? Magic. What sort of magic? The usual sort, you know. There's lots of it around here. That's why it's so cold. The magic has mutated and made it into a perpetual winter. Do you know any magic? Well, I picked up the odd word or two as I went along. Can't quite remember what they do, though. What are they? It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I seem to spend forever running errands for people. Everyone's good for something. What do you want? See this pink splodge? Yeah. It's paint. Yeah. It means that that bloody woodcutter will be coming along later to chop me down. Great. The tree just scratched him equ equ equivalently at the crotch. <sighs> what do you want me to do about it? You can remove the pan for me. What's it worth? If you do it for me, and then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty who? Hurry up, though. I'm on it. From the shop, huh? Yeah, we know where the white spirit is. But we don't have any money. That's the problem. <sighs> I 
Well, hopefully I can actually get some cash. Get some cash money. Actually, is there a path up here? No. Is this a path? I don't remember. It's not. No, no other paths. <laughs> Nice one, Jace. Knock, knock, he cut me down. Knock, knock, I hit the ground. Bang, bang. Doing that thing. I want you to look at the boulder. A pinnacle of rock. Let's use the rope. There's no way to fix it up there. I used the rope with scissors. That doesn't work. Use the rope with the magnet. I used the rope magnet on the boulder. Okay, that didn't. That's not the way. Uh, with the rock. Use the ladder with the boulder. I don't think that would be very safe. Why not? Okay, I do know that you need to climb up there using the rope and you use a sort of a, well, a grappling hook, literally, a grappling hook. But where did I get that grappling hook from? in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder where we'll get there. When we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. How can you have a ring on backwards? A large cardboard box. Time to go all uh, solid snake on these guys. Well, almost. Loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell books in this one. So we have a spell book now. How did it end up here? I finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. It's covered in scribblings. It looks like someone has been trying to use my spellbook. Interesting. A rat bone. I wonder where the rest of the rat is. Probably Chow. I'm sure the goblins ate it. Let me actually look at the lock. You need a key to open it. We open it. It's locked. Well, it, let's use the red bone then. There's nothing to catch the key with. Uh, use the paper with the door. And use the red bone on the lock. Oldest trick in the book. There, we have a key. A goblin key made from two teeth and a pencil. <laughs> well, it serves as a key, I guess. At least it works. That's the most important 
thing about it. Well, there's a goblin, all right. Can we take the bucket? A middle slops bucket. There is a hole in the side of it. A large goblin guard is blocking the passage. Pick up the bucket. Now we have two buckets. One with a hole in it. That's a druid. He's manacled to the wreck. Can we talk to him? Are you the druid from the village? Oh, thou hast no voice but no sight. At your presence, whatever I said, I missed it. I'm wearing a ring of invis invisibility. Do not joke with me, hell spawn! Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. If you're a druid, Where's your sickle, eh? I left it at home, demon prince. Now be gone. Look, let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. And what consequences would those be? Your emotional torture cannot hurt me, foul fiend. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> a standard instrument of torture also an excellent band anything in here nope let's look at the sharp things a collection of hot metal spikes can we pick any of them up my mummy said never to touch sharp things It's lucky my hat is fireproofed. So we need to pick that up at least. Do you have anything else to say about it? Apparently not. Mint. A roll of super 5x strong mint. So I guess they're effing strong. Can we consume one of them? I think I'd better save them until I need warming up. Oh, yeah, that's what they're used for. Solid metal bars. That doesn't work. Extremely heavy bronze bladed doors. Hmm. There's nothing on him around him hmm how do we get rid of this guy how about we use this is a phone I'd probably get arrested for a breach of the peace can we just walk past him no hmm pocket with scissors throw a rock at him Tickle him with a feather. I use the flaming brand. Put a bucket on his head. Put a leaking bucket on his head. Give him the key. Use the spell book. No way. Not after what happened last time. Even the wax. No. Give him the placard. And uh, use the smoke box? No. Use the matches. Use the ladder so I can climb over him? No. Okay. Or maybe just remove the ring. Yeah, why not? I'm not that stupid. The guard would have me for breakfast. So yeah, that doesn't work. But maybe we can show ourselves to the druid.
There. Now he can see us. My eyes deceiveth me, O oh, this a young boy in this den of filth. See? I told you I wasn't evil. Fry, tis you, demon prince. Thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. Look okay? I am not a demon. Got that? There is a simple test. What is this simple test? It is a well-known fact. That the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If that creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you to find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. Isn't there a slightly less painful trial? Aha! Afraid, creature of the night! Wouldn't you be if a lunatic druid wanted to stick a silver dagger through your heart? Okay, let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Place it against your forehead. Why is this less reliable? Because sometimes people pass. Why is this more convenient? There's less blood to clean up afterwards. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Only if you're a foul, evil, depraved son of the devil, hellspawn beast. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. Give me quite a shock. Oh. Well, I suppose I'd better take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well. I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Y no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower, uh, druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Poly what? All druids have capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. Which animal can you change into? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But a frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. A full moon, huh? How do we make a full moon appear? Maybe use the bucket or the bars? Hmm. A full moon. Uh.
I'll have to take the ring off, otherwise that stupid druid will think I'm a demon. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes, I've got a plan. Okay, now he will see only a light coming through the hole. Use the firebrand. There we go. Yeah, it's a full moon. Now he's a frog. Rogue, ribbit. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I don't think the ring is gonna work anymore. <clears throat> I must have run the batteries out. I have noise this way. Oh dear. Okay, let's go hide. You'd better get the others. Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever is cured though. I'm coming now, so wait. Aha! I can't see no one. No. No one in here. In behind you. What? <laughs> not funny. You are cleaning duty for a week. Please, no Captain. Have mercy. I don't like the look of things. We go get more gob. I think dead, Captain. Days pass. That was hot in there. I need a drink. <coughs> Feel better, Simon? A super strong hacksaw. Pick up the hacksaw, you moron. At least he brought something. So we can get out of here. Only if it was that easy. Only in an adventure game. <coughs> We're out. Out and about. So we have a hacksaw, we have mint, uh, we have paper. We got a lot of stuff. Supposed to somehow to get the magnet off the rope. Guess not. So you have a hacksaw. What can we use the hacksaw on? So we can get ourselves some items. I don't know. Hmm. I haven't the faintest idea. And I'm trying to think. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. This only leads to the Swamplings place, and from there to the uh, dragon and everything. This is the crossroads. Okay. Actually, let's... Uh, no, this is the oath spot. There's nothing that way. <coughs> what was the, in this direction? Rapunzel. I'm sorry. Repulsor.
Or maybe we need to use the beeswax on the beer. Hmm. Let's see. Hello again. Yeah. I'd like a warlock surprise, please. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I got some essence of fruit bat down here somewhere. Where is it? Pluck that up. Dunk. I plucked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any essence of fruit bat at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Now he can't get... Wait here, kid. I got something for you. Luckily, he had the other beer barrel there already. Hey, kid. Take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold, peace a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Good! That is what we need against the uh, Guardian Dwarf. A voucher for a free glass of beer at the Drunken Druid. Awesome. Now we can go inside the dwarf mines. And also, beer. Enough beer for a really good night. Blah. Good thing I've got a big hat. It's not really a big hat. You should more say that it, it's a good thing you have a spacious. Where's my beard? There it is. To the mines we go. Password is B. Beer, 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 beer. So let's give the voucher to the dwarf, maybe. I don't think he'd find any use for it. How about the uh, other dwarf? Wow, a free drink? It's a shame I don't get off work early enough to use it. Well, so we gotta talk to this guy again. I've got something important to say. Yes? Got any free samples? No. Will you please go away now? Okay. I don't think I ought to disturb him again. I'll give him the beer. I don't think he'd find any use for it. Excuse me. Hello? Wow. Heavy sleeper. So, God! Get rid of him! Look. You can't go in. Go away. Just one thing. Then you can smeg it well naff right off. That's okay. I'm not a dwarf. What? I said, um, I come from the north. Eh? Just staff off, will you? Naff off yourself. Ow! Okay, talking to them doesn't help. Use the beer on the bottle. That doesn't work. Enough beer for a really good night. <sighs> Help! 
<laughs> Just when I get one step ahead, I get taken two steps back. Did I try to give him the whole keg of beer? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Give beer to Dwarf. Do you have some beer, by any chance? I'm on duty. I suppose one mug can't hurt, though. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. I wonder who I used the voucher for, then. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? A drinking competition. He looks very drunk. Well, I probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. Well, we took care of him. Yeah, going for just one. Typical. Oh, I can't pick up the, uh... Can I pick up the bottle now? It's not mine to pick up. Well, let's go. God! God! Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slug? You must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, it's off to work we go. La 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 la. Shut up. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, ho 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 ho. That's some sophisticated uh, machinery that they have here. A hook attached to a link, a rope. Now that is what I needed. Use the hook with the rope. That doesn't work. <sighs> How do I remove the magnet? Because I do have a feeling that I have done wrong. A heavy gold encrusted door. It's locked. He appears to be in charge. Let's talk to him. Excuse me. Yes. Where does where does this door go? Treasury. All our gems are kept in there. So, how long have you been a dwarf? Man and boy. Never an inch above four feet high in my life. What? Never? No, never. What? Never. Well, hardly ever. Do you know where I can find the key to it? Well, the dwarf in charge of key keeping today is... Uh... Hard fist jawbreaker. He's probably drunk in the beer in our room. Lucky sod. A few sit-ups would do you the world of good. Watch it. I've never been killed in battle, you know. What? Never? No. Must be off. You know how it is. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. Why not low-ho? Always the high-ho's. Give some respect to the low hose too. And now how low can they go? <laughs> oh, the jokes. They hurt because they're so bad. Now where's the music? We want the music. Please, please, please. Now let's pick up the dwarf. Can we move the dwarf? 
I'll never be able to move that fat... <laughs> really? Fat lump. Excuse me. Shh. I think he's asleep. You think so? Is he even the right guy? I doubt it. But this guy is the one that has the key. Maybe if we push him. I don't see the point. Some of one of them has the key. But how to get it? Now that is the problem. Uh, Give me my music back, you stupid game! This is very annoying! Will Spyroar ever get the key? Will he be able to get the music back? Tune in next time for the next episode of Simon the Sorcerer!